Okay, welcome to the Quest for Details. I'm Nate and we are out we are out at a site that is now a private campground area, but it was once a well this is a ghost town. Um and it's also a spot where the Pewter Creek comes down and joins a couple other main forks of its tributaries before it goes into uh, some of the bigger bodies of water in California, like Berryessa, and then out to the Carquinas. But um, we're going to do some metal detecting out here today. The first metal detecting of the season. And this is really close to home. This is actually the location where I found my gold coin. So I don't often give that away, but this is about, oh, a 20 acre site here that is, um, there's old orchards and after it was a little ghost town, the town of Pumpkin, even though you won't find that anywhere, but that's what the locals, turkeys, there is a, there is a, uh, a boy turkey up there just going crazy, trying to out talk me here, but, uh, this place has just seen phases and phases. It still has campers still to this day. They still come out here and camp. And um, it was at one point uh, the Trout Fishermen's Association of North America or something's cabin sites. So there was 25 cents a weekend. People would be pay 25 cents a weekend to stay in the little cabins here, a bunch of little wooden cabins, and fish the, the epic trout of of this river. This is also the Green River um, from Creedence Clearwater's uh, Creedence Clearwater Revival, the band. So those are some interesting things. It's called Pewter Creek, but, but it's also known as the Green River in that song. And... Uh, I thought something interesting we could do. Actually, climb down in here already. We have a creek that's jumped its course and is causing massive erosion here. So bummer, because that's all that this is, is a little alluvial ledge of silt and the river decided to go over there and carve down deeper instead of removing all this and it's meandering so far. So to lose any of this real estate um, is kind of a bummer, but anyhow, uh, the fun part is that I saw some obsidian sticking out of here. So there isn't a huge amount of obsidian in this particular hillside or riverbed. You know, we have volcanic zones all around here. So there is obsidian within uh, a day's walking distance. But um, not so much in this zone. And... Uh, so to see obsidian sticking out of these layers and for it to be down in there, you know that during the layers of, at some point, this was an exposed flat area and obsidian got dropped or washed in here either way. And then that much more dirt either slid off of the mountain above it, which is likely because it's all dark dirt, organic stuff that's slipping down off the slopes above or the river came in here and instead of carving away, layer down um, amounts of silt on top of it, which can also happen. So let's go ahead and look. I saw one here first. That's the one that I climbed down here for first. And then I touched this other one and I thought, well, I should bring you in on it so you can see a little flake of black obsidian. So that's a sharp little working piece. And I scanned all around here. And all through what fell down and couldn't find any more than I saw this. And I wiggled it and I went, oh man. Oh it is too. Oh it is. And this is a campground that's private now. It's private property. Look at that though. Sharp as the day it fell. Sticking out of the stratigraphy of the layers. You can almost see light and dark layers put in here. So that far down. Wow. And, uh, and yeah, just incredible. That's a nice way to start the video, just to find the big old sharp arrowhead. This is so close to home. Um, if there wasn't a hill in the way, I could see this spot from my porch almost, you know? 
So that's really cool. This clay here that's red almost looks like it had a fire. In a lot of places when fires are built on clay, it will fire it a little bit like it was in a kiln and it will actually turn it uh, red like that. Yeah, who knows how long ago that was dropped in those layers. And like I say, this winter it just finally ate away back to that. You can see the river out there. And what it's done here, and in the gold coin video, um, when you see how soft the dirt is that I'm picking up, you can see I've explained it a thousand times to people. It's, uh, it's loam. It's river loam. It's super soft. And in the summer here, this can be insane. I promise we're going to get to malware detecting, but during the summer, this can be like rock hard. It sets up like clay, and then during the winter, it's push your finger in it soft. So it's also you get great um, radio transmission from the waves down into into this wet soil as opposed to dry soil. So the detecting today is going to be really great. I found all kinds of um, late 1800s coins here, silvers, dimes, all kinds of people have found coins here. And the gold coin was found here. So you ready to do some detecting? Let's get out the equinox and uh, yeah. We already have treasure for the day. Put some close-ups of this in here right now. Fantastic, though. It looks like it lost its tip and it shattered in half. But it doesn't look like it tumbled down the stream. And these flat spots... Uh, were occupied right up until the time when the settlers got here. This is actually an area where the Indian Wars continued on and there is... um. Old Soldier Road near here and the original locals and stuff can tell you that um, it was basically like another trail of tears that went through here evacuating out all of these valleys and condensing all of the peoples up to Round Valley and Covalo um, and yeah clearing out each valley one by one so the settlers could come in. Tricky! And we are out here. We're on the edge of the county that I live in and it takes me an hour to drive home through totally rural areas just even to get home and then we're a little bit farther out from that so that's the setting and uh, yeah that's what we're gonna do I'll let you know what the first target is I guess that's what I need to say um, right here that's where that eaten away place was Somebody sat who knows how many thousands of years ago before this giant old ancient oak was even probably a teeny tiny sprout growing out of this top layer because this came from five feet down. So who knows? All the way up to the 30s and 40s and 50s when there was... Oh, there was horses and buggies pulling in here. That gold coin that I found came from before there was even cars invented. So this was the type of area out in the west where um, people were traveling. San Francisco is about a day's horse and buggy ride from here, depending on how you went. And these were the resorts that they were going out to, um, to, to do like the Theodore Roosevelt thing, to, 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 to experience nature that hadn't yet been spoiled like Europe and um, the eastern United States that had had people in it, had had pioneers in it had had Europeans in it for um, 300, 400 years by this point. You know, these were still teeming with salmon and trout, and these were the areas where people were coming that far out to to experience. And we still are. So let's see what they dropped. Well, this is the first thing out of the hole. It sounded really good. It was deep down, but I think it's just a molten piece of aluminum, as far as I can tell. Second signal, bottle cap, but sounded good because Corona's due for some reason. Really have to dig everything out here because I found so many different things.
Got a 21 here. That being said, you do have to pick your targets because there are so many targets here. It's pretty park-like. Lots of modern mixed in. I think it might be kind of hiding in the loose soil. Okay. Sometimes when it's really close to the surface, it's hard to pinpoint. Oh, looks like modern aluminum screw. So, sounded really good. It was so close to the surface, it just, uh, it was like reverberating its waves too much back to itself and couldn't pinpoint that easy. Next signal is an old chunk of lead. I think it's an old bullet. Been in the dirt a while. Okay, we got like a 21 locked in here. Could be a dime or a copper penny or something good, possibly. Still sounds good. Actually went up to a 25. It's deeper. Deeper is always better. It means it's older maybe. Okay, it's out of the hole. I see the edge of a coin there. And it's green. It's always a really good sign. Yay, we got a weedy. Nice, and the fact that it's green from this oil is usually 20s. 1935 D. Okay. Yikes, do you know what that is? That is called an owl pellet, so a bird of prey doesn't poop out all the bones and stuff. It coughs them back out after it's digested it, so that's just hair and bones. Pretty cool. So they sat up in this big old tree, and uh, that's all that's left of a bunch of little furry guys. Seventeen or an eighteen here usually means it's a modern zincon or a borrow top, but that would also be numbers for an Indian head. This time it was an older pull tab instead of a pop top. An actual pull tab with what they call a beaver tail when you find it by itself. Okay, good aluminum. Another pull tab. Okay, got a tight. Maybe not so tight. Or maybe a scattering. We'll see. The worms in this, that's crazy. Yeah. It's a penny. It's a modern zincon. Worms. Worms. Oh. Another 21. 
Probably the same modern spill. on the surface, another zinc in. So much history here we're going to climb up to. This little flat spot that has all the pipes coming down to them. There's another one there. I don't know if they're outhouses or cisterns or there's water houses right above it. But yeah, just going to kind of keep checking everything while the grass is low. This gets really tall. Got a super high, too good to be true signal right there. But there's been a lot of too good to be true things around here. So. This is reading a little big. Like it can. Okay. <laughs> Old beer can. Well, yeah, I don't know if that was a cistern. The bottom of an outhouse, I know there was a lot of both up on this hill. And uh, a lot of different stages. I dug it out a little bit though, and no bottles or anything right at the surface, even though they'd probably be junk at that point, anyways. But yeah, I think we're gonna head off across the slope here looking at these little dents. The water pipes make me think this was. The little cisterns that went to the little faucets everywhere. It's cement, so it's pretty modern anyways. So we'll move on. Little bullet, chunk of lead. Working the road where things are never that deep, but you can't dig it at all during the summer. This is giving off a funky signal, but we found somebody's poor keys who knows how many years later. It's like an 80s Chrysler Cole National Key USA. I think this is a Chrysler. <laughs> Well, I hope it got better for him. <laughs> okay. Found your keys, man. 22 shell. The ever elusive, it shows up, gives you a good signal, but disappears as you're digging for it. Usually a brass 22. Something about their shape, it's like it lets you know they're there, and then it goes into stealth mode. Even more elusive, I don't even know what that is smaller than the 22 beautiful 20 solid 23 this seems pretty big that might be a coke can oh it just got tighter I think we're moving it around and we would see a Coke can. I do see a big aluminum cap. Kind of a weak 19 to 23 signal here. Can't lock it really. We'll just go ahead and lift a plug. 
sloppy plug, it's sloppy dirt. Something weird. Sound is good because of the roundness or whatever. Just a bolt, iron bolt. But uh, once the machine could see it better, hear it better, however you want to think about it, um, it determined that the signal was not a good signal. So it got fooled, and then it got a better idea of what it was, and that's why it went quiet. So sometimes when they disappear, it's because it was like it got a better look at it, and it was like, nope, never mind, don't dig it, boss. It's that time of year out here. Look at these mushrooms. How big they are compared to my foot. Just busting out of the soil. Keep digging. Okay, got a high signal here. And it's between 24 and 33. Oh, not sure. It's saying it's deep. Let's try and take a roundish plug here. It just falls apart anyways. But it'll at least give us flat edges. Try and scoop it all over here to one area. Check the pile that we pulled out. Separate from the hole so we can tell which is which. Still getting a signal here, but not here. Let's try and lock it again. Still getting high signals. That is deep. Oh. <laughs> it's still compacted. That's why you wouldn't even heard the signal during the dry. <sighs> We're going to have to get down hands and knees and trip this so we spend our effort going in the right direction. Oh, we popped it out. Oop, just knocked it back in the hole. And it's dented. But it's not from us. That's an old dent. There's no, uh, no dirt. There's no fresh grease there. It's a coin. It was reading that high. It's crazy. I think I see Lincoln's head here, so it probably got bent just sitting in the roadbed over a rock. And it's a memorial. It's not even a weedy, so I don't know why it was screaming up in the 30s at us, but maybe because it was dished. It was copper. This was a high signal. Oh! It's like a modern spoon. Some stainless steel going on. Korea. A very weak 25 to 29 here. Scoot away what we can. Ooh, cleaned it up. 26. Soft dirt. Sounds like we moved it, it's kind of broken up, so it's probably just echoing around in the loose here. Worth getting down. Dug a little early there. Ooh, we got a clumper.
Wow, suspenseful, right? Something tiny. Yikes. I don't even know. That little thing must be made out of good dirt. I mean, good metal, because sure gave us a lot of, uh, a lot of noise. Yikes. Okay. That's how it goes. Nope. There's a 30 in the hole. That was a red herring of a metal find that just happened to be there. I tell you what, you take these worms right now and you cast them in this river. They're a big old catfish. Ooh, we got a coin out of the hole. What are you? <laughs> it's a... I guess it's just because it was good copper and the soil's so wet, things are ringing so loud. It's 1979. Copper Memorial, Lincoln, one cent. Pull tab. Okay, I had another little sigil kind of here under the edge of these bushes. Oh, it's a memorial. There's a copper one cent, but not earlier than uh, 58. So right after that. Coin. Okay, I'm going to bring you in here at this point. By the beautiful river. I think we have a high signal. Out in this clump here. We do. Oh. 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 You see that? You seeing that? Oh, wow. That, my friends. Looks like a silver dime. Oh yeah. Right here where I've gone over this dozens of times in the last uh oh the last thirteen years or so. It's a nineteen sixty two. Two years before they quit making them out of out of silver. That is awesome. Okay. There's our chunk of silver coinage for the day. Okay. Happy camper. Got the arrowhead, got the uh, weedy, and got a 1962 silver dime. Okay. Got another high signal. A coin in the clump. You see, it's a memorial from nineteen seventy nine, two years after I was born. But more coins were missed. Uh, the weakest, I turned my thing up a couple more points. I'm at twenty one now with my sensitivity, so the stronger you turn up your sensitivity, the slower you should swing. I'm just leaving my recovery speed, the speed at which it's picking up the signals and listening to it at its factory settings. Anyhow, I turned it up, turned the machine up, which made it stronger. I got a little faint signal, took a little deep plug out of here. Now it's clear. Oh. And it's not a coin. Oh, but it is a two little, little two hole button. Metal. It's aluminum, so that'll date it, but sometime between the 40s and now, so an 80 year span. 
And the next is a shotgun shell. Here's the tip off another arrowhead. Or probably spear spear point. Yep. That's what that is. It's actually a bald eagle flying over right there. It's a young one. And he got his full colors in there. Look at that nest here. You can tell it's an eagle, it's huge. They nest right up here in these trees along this river. It's starting to drizzle a little bit. We've made it back to the car. Have some coffee. Okay, what I've done, so while I was having my little coffee break, I pulled over here, I don't know if you can see it, those are walls built into the hillside with a really old uh, plaster and cobbled stone and everything else going on. What is that? I found Oh, it's a more modern bottle. Okay. But anyways, there's a closer look at the wall. There's actually a cement floor under this whole thing and I found um, a penny on it before a wheat penny there's actually the square of what would have been maybe at least the basement somehow or other anyhow this house was really long it was built into the hillside and has cement floor here and then there's footings out here like square footings so it would have extended i don't know if you can tell but the slants down we're gonna go back down there and my mom had dug around here at one point and said that she found an old garbage pit or something, which is it's hard to tell because the Boy Scouts used to use this constantly too. This was a jamboree grounds, amongst many other things that it has been. But I just scooted a little bit of dirt aside. And here's an old piece of uh, some sort of enameled pottery shard and it's all cracked and old looking so I got the flat blade out and I thought we would just skim off like a little four foot area here and go down a little bit because I never have because we're in the basement of the old house so that's what I'm going to do and I'll let you know what we get on to definitely getting some window glass this is probably from the house it was here the light bulb butt and more glass, so uh, I'll scrape around a bit. Pretty big hole going on here. I'm just getting well, there's a spike. Wow, that's cool enough to bring home for sure. Look at that. There's a nine inch nail. Wow. That's probably handmade, I bet you when you clean that up, you can see all the forge marks in it. And, yeah. Oh, heck of a spike. Right there. Pretty cool. Okay, well, just pawn around. A piece of gas line, I guess. Just saw that pop out of the ground. Freaked me out. Looks like a coin, but I think it's an iron. Must have been a punch out, unless it was a token of some sort. We'll definitely clean it out, but it shows you that that can be laying there in the dirt. I don't know. No obvious patterns right now. Okay, so um, we're gonna dig a little bit more. We're gonna go down to a different area here, closer to where I found the gold coin, because when I'm here, I can't help but look. 
So we'll look again. Oh, a whole set of them this time. <laughs> cool. The fuel and something the best. Another set of keys. It's uh, dribbling rain here. And I still got to snag up some firewood for the night and all of that. So we are wrapping up soon, but another set of keys. Yeah, beautiful. The water was all the way up to here, curving on the side of this. And uh, the land, at the time of loss of my gold coin, probably went out here another 20 feet and has eroded away from my estimates and other people's estimates so it is always it's always good to check the banks it's always good to look and be the first person to see the gold coins sticking out of the bank that's what we want or arrowheads or anything like that so I'm doing a little plus all this is going to get so grown over by veg that you won't be able to get here at all. But it's amazing to get here now and be able to swing through it all. But everything that's ever been burnt in a fire pit up above this has all just uh, slid down to here now. So there is that. A lot of garbage. A uh, little piece of thick wire. Still. This is the area all the light stuff has been carried away and there's been incredible things found right around here. Well, that's the type of thing that keeps you going crazy in life. I just found a, uh, what was just the same as a, a beautiful coin signal or something. It was a grommet, an old grommet, but I am about 20 feet away from where I found the gold coin, 30 feet away from where I found the 1800s quarter, Oh man, and the erosive slopes below all that, that is just a soft loam that we watch take 10 feet every year in our current era. So, um, but it is also just solid nails digging through this. There's so much iron here, and I could show you, I could put the silver dime here, put three nails over it, it'll disappear. So there could be anything here, folks. For real, for real. <sighs> Beautiful though. Almost done. So, I hope that you enjoyed this little first uh, metal detecting trip of the season. And uh, yeah, I hope you're safe and warm and dry out there somewhere and not too hot if you're in that part of the world and too dry. Um, yeah, hope the wind's blowing in your favor. Until I see you next time, please take care of yourselves and if you get the chance, take care of each other. Quest on.